Hello everyone, welcome back to the Power Rangers Dino Supercharge Vlog. Oh, I, I'm going to get sick and tired of having to remind myself to add the word super in it. Um, in honesty, this is actually my third take, and it took me this long to actually say the line super in it. God damn, Saban. I don't get why Saban decided, let's add super to the title to make it a new series. And at the same time, split the series in half. I don't get that logic. I don't understand it. Saban, you may have your reasons. I Hopefully they make more sense. Anyway, where we left off, for those who remembered, well, for those who just jumped in, Tyler gives us an explanation of what happened in the past 22 episodes real fast. Basically a quick summary. And why I said 20 episodes and not 22, two of them are non-canon. And also we learned that all the Rangers are doing what they need to. So Shelby's at college, which, so that means the ending of One More Energem, the old Tyler did was just dropped her and Riley off at their houses. That's it. They weren't going along with him on this journey. And yet yeah, Tyler's still looking for his dad. Ivan and Dakota are still at the restaurant working. And we also discovered that they all don't have their Energems on them and they're still back at the museum. So that's also something else. And give them a reason of how they are doing all that. Back at Sledge's ship, all the monsters who survived are getting out of their prison cells and Snide comes out first and basically claims ownership saying, well, leadership of all of them saying that he's now in charge. And then he switches to Heckle. And we learn that they're on a time limit. So basically, within a certain amount of time, Heckle will switch with Snide or Snide will switch with Heckle. And also, for how they work, at, they actually do, do a good job as a fearsome foe. Snide's more the vicious opponent who will take out it take him out fast and hard in that strategy, while Heckle's more the charismatic one. He will let your guard drop while doing this, but he's still destructive. When Snide switch with Heckle, they also have a watch which uses as their timer and their communicator with each other. So if they're not working against each other, so that's even more better. They did a better job as a villain than Sledge. I'm giving them that right now. And also a more motivational job with the monsters than Sledge. Sledge threatened them. Heckle, when he first shows up, he's like, okay, everyone gather up. And also bring some snacks. <laughs> so he's treating it like it's a meeting. He's like, here's what we're gonna do. Get me an air gem, and we can rule this world together. So that's the motivation. He's like, and if you wanna leave, go ahead, leave. A monster did decide to leave, and he just like, <laughs> killed him. And he was like, he was going to betray us. The moment he would have left this ship, he would have found the Rangers and told them where, that we all lived. So I got those lines, but he did state of that he betrayed us. So I give him credit for being that charismatic. Also, we learned that Fury, Wrench, Toxandra, and Curio survived. Yes, I finally learned what that green monster's name is. I'm sorry for not saying his name multiple times. We also learned that Sledge is dead. There's not, he ain't coming back. And yeah, even though they brought up the resurrecting machine that could resurrect monsters that was previously killed, you have to have a piece of the monster's DNA to resurrect them. So unless they have a piece of Sledge, Sledge is dead. What else? Oh yeah, Heckle's plan, kind of scary. It worked to the point where I'm terrified. He got to the museum and he's applying a job as a waiter. And Kendall hired him, which was kind of, it. this is kind of weird and cool. He is, he's basically playing a secret agent on this. He's going to find the base and take the energy for himself. Or for Snide, or for, well, hopefully for Snide, but still. I give Heckle credit for being this tactitious. And throughout the whole time, while the other Rangers, he sicked Ice Age out to collect them which kind of gave me off because I don't know where the location of these rangers are. All I know is somehow Ice Age, the monster from the first episode that we seen who got that T-Rex launched, is back. He froze the Chase who's in New Zealand, which doesn't make sense. Uh, he managed to get to New Zealand and back. Maybe they're in Australia. I'm just taking a guess in the dark. Found Shelby, froze her. Found Riley, froze him. And when he almost got 
Tyler, but Tyler somehow managed to escape. All he froze was the car. <laughs> and throughout this whole time, Kendall, Ivan, and Coda are freaking out wondering what's going on and decided to go look for where Tyler was last located using his phone. And then they do the stupid horror movie cliche, splitting up. Well, Coda split it up. Ivan and Kendall found the frozen car and got frozen also. What Coda did, I'm still wondering how and doesn't make sense. Ice Age fro was freezing Coda and he used like a rock as a shield to block it, but he was still getting frozen. And yet, when the freezing was stopping, you see a giant block. All that was left was Coda's shirt and the rock he was holding. I don't know how he escaped, but it must be something. He made it to the base, freaking out what to do, trying to contact anyone, but you know he was a caveman, he doesn't know technology. No, he was having a hard time trying to use a computer. And Tyler shows up, and it's not explained how he escaped. They don't even show a scene of how he did it. He just escaped. That's one of the things that irked me. We also get understanding that Coda has a fear of ice, which makes sense because the Rise of the Caveman episode, I think that's what it was called, where they we learn how Coda got the Energem and he was frozen from in a block of ice, he just has that fear of it, which makes sense. And also we learn that Kendall found Chase first. So it was Chase, Coda, then Tyler, Shelby, Riley in that order. Now only we need to know how Kendall met Chase. Then we know how, then we'll learn that. What Tyler wanted to know was how did Coda escape from the ice? How'd you escape from the ice? That's the big question. They gather up the energy and decided to lure themselves to Ice Age, which began to freeze them. And froze them in their ranger suits. He got all seven of them frozen. Yet he did not went for the prince. Why didn't he go for Philip? I don't get that. He went all the way to get Chase, but he didn't get Philip. What? Philip had security? He could have froze them. That doesn't make any sense in the long run, but I'm not caring. As soon as Snide slashes Coda and Tyler's ice block, we discovered they escaped in their out of their suits. So is it an actual suit? What? They could take off the suit like it's a normal piece of clothing? I thought it was more like as soon as you morph, it appears on you. And you just gotta, you could take the helmet off, but everything else stays on you. I don't get the logic of that. They escaped, they jumped out of their suits and escaped from the blocks of ice. Followed Ice Age to the, where he got them all. And they used their, t the... Entered um, the battery that does flames and melt all the ice. And then we they got all their engines back and they, we get to see all seven of them morph and fight. And yeah, while Snide was fighting with Tyler, Snide almost won until time's up and he had to quickly hide the turn from Heckle since Kendall would have noticed him. Which, like I said, he's a smart person. And throughout this whole time, we're mostly seeing Kendall fighting and she's... A skilled fighter. She knows how to shoot, how to stab, and how to do everything else. And then they did the finishing move. She did a fire, I mean, she blasted Ice Age. They hit him with a dino spike, and Ivan uses his, his electric attack. And you still can't Photoshop. I'm sorry, but I saw Zuriden as the finisher. So you still need to learn how to fit Photoshop, Saban Company. <laughs> I'm still going to point out the Japanese stuff. They killed Ice Age, and then we also learn that the Mac, I mean, the Growing Ray is still existing. I mean, it still works, and they make the giant Ice Age. We get to see them battle in the Plesiosaurd, which is still cool to see, and learning that the Plesiosaurd can combine with the T Rex Sword. So the T Rex Sword doesn't always have to be the main Ranger or need to use the Plesiosaurd or the Pterosaur. The Red Ranger Sword can fuse with other ones to be a component. And the next move they use, I was like, oh my god, that is cool as hell as a Power Ranger fan. Blasting all five monst giant monsters with a T-Rex beam and then piercing them with a Plessia attack. That is cool. I'm sorry. I'm still acting like the little eight-year-old who's enjoying himself. 
they win, and then they all get back to the base, doing all the all happy to be back here. Riley's happy because he's cleaning out pig pens. Shelby's happy because she still has a crush on Tyler. <laughs> and now they have to look for the last two Energems. The Aqua's gem, who they know somebody has it since the Zord's mobile, and the Silver Ranger. So at least we know what the last color is. All I can say is, nice way to start it off. You give us a villain who we are now going to be paranoid when he gets to the base, and all that. We get in ourselves new powers and all these stuff. We get to see them more fighting, and Kendall's now going to be doing some actual combat more. Hopefully, we get to see who just gets the silver energem, and hopefully, the Aqua Ranger will appear finally. Because I'm tired, I just want to see the Aqua Ranger get it over with. It's getting annoying. And also, for those who are collecting the Power Ranger toys, yes, the T Rex gun is out, and this is supposed to be for. Those who haven't watched the Japanese version, how the Red Ranger will get the boost in power. And also, it's a gun. They really need to at least wait a little bit before they would have released this, because a lot of people will not know, unless you watch that, the Japanese version, what is the purpose of this gun? Is it their new gun? Only when discover that only the Red Ranger gets to use it. Well, I decided to keep going with the series. I'm not going to stop until they jump... But, like I said, I do enjoy this episode. Nice way to pull you back into the series of enjoyment. I enjoy everything about it, and I'm still going to be doing these vlogs. Click anywhere on the screen for the playlist of the first 22 episodes of the Dino Chart to see if my opinion on it. On it. Uh, well, my opinion, and Rasa signing out. Rasa signing out.